Hi, Jill Watson from Maltese International Americas again here in Haiti. We have been walking all day, hiking up a mountain, across a mountain, down ravines, on top of an aqueduct with boulders, very unstable, very arduous. Um, but we've taken a pit stop right now to check out one of our water distribution points. And um, it's just a very welcomed break. But I have to tell you, I'm so impressed by Malteser International staff here in Haiti and our partners on the ground and for what they have been able to accomplish in such difficult terrain. I don't think anybody realizes that the country of Haiti is very mountainous and these teams, these crews have had to build this aqueduct by hand, bring boulders up, and even if not by hand all the time, in very, very risky, dangerous uh, topography. So I'm very proud of their work and I look forward to continuing on our aqueduct hike here. So the strategy that we use to, to do the work is to uh, wake your people in the community. So because the work that we do in the community is for the community. After we finish and uh, the possibility to, to manage what they have in, in their community. On our 11 kilometer walk on top of the aqueduct all the way back down to town, we've stopped at one of our water collection centers. It's really wonderful to see our committees, our water committees in action and also be able to see what our uh, partners and Maltese International have created. We took a little detour to a small little village and ran into Sarah. Sarah is a Kazakh, or a chief of a group of communities. She also sits on the water committee, and she makes sure that everything runs smoothly, and if any problems arise, they're rectified quickly. She also expressed how excited she is that she has fresh water, and she wants to bring clean water to more communities. <laughs> How has life changed for people in Haiti after we built the aqueduct? Well, that's very simple. They have access to fresh, clean water. On average, in developing countries, women and children walk about four miles a day for water, but that water is contaminated. And with our new aqueduct, about 31,000 people have access to fresh water that won't get them sick, that won't cause illnesses, that won't cause potential death. We improve lives of entire families while remaining true to our mission to help people live healthier lives with dignity. To learn more about Haiti and our work in the Americas, please visit our website at orderofmaltarelief.org.